welcome back to Rue's life. So I'm actually at the end of our open-ended barn, and I don't know if you can see, but all around me is snow. It's been really snowing here for the last few days. Um, so I'm not going to hang around too long because it's actually quite cold. Um, but what I wanted to show you today is chitting potatoes. Um, some people choose to chit them, some not. It's not something I will routinely do with my seed potatoes, um, but the potatoes I'm going to show you are actually um, supermarket bought potatoes. I do have some seed potatoes and I have talked about those in an earlier video. Um, but these are supermarket potatoes and therefore I'm going to chip them, but the process would be the same. So chitting potatoes really couldn't be simpler. And as I say, it's not something that I routinely do. Some gardeners do it religiously and some don't. Um, and it'd be very interesting, actually. It might be something I will do a video experiment of with the same variety of potatoes and I'll grow them maybe one in one tub, one in another, some chitted, some not. Just see, to, see if it does make a difference. Um, and as I say, I don't generally as a rule do it, but because these are supermarket potatoes, I'm going to. So let me just move my coffee. So the easiest way to do this is to have some egg boxes. Now, many of you that follow my channel will know that we do actually have chickens. Um, so we, we never actually buy eggs, but because we have chickens, I give a lot of eggs away and people tend to give me egg boxes um, and I, I fill them up and, and give them eggs. So we always have plenty of egg boxes. So the easiest thing to do is take your potato and if you just have a look at this, I hope the camera's going to pick that up. You can see this has already started to get some little eyes on it. And then we've got this here at the bottom, which is the base. So I'm going to put the, the slightly pointier part upward. Now, if, you, if these start to come too soon or there's too many, you just knock them off because you don't want it going crazy. Um, so that's the base, and I'm just gonna pop that into an egg box. And I'm gonna do the same with all of them. And then I will place them in a cool but light area. If they start to sort of oversprout, and I've got too much going on, um, sort of long green sprouts, I'll knock those off. You just want kind of short, fairly stubby white sp sprouts, if you like, coming off those, and, and then they'll be ready to sow. So let's get on and do that. If you haven't got egg boxes, it doesn't really matter. You can use anything, but egg boxes are just really useful for, for standing them up in. So the snow is coming down thick and fast now. So I'm going to get those potatoes onto a shelf here in the barn. I'm going to tidy things away. I'm going to have a cup of coffee and go warm up by the fire. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you all again soon.